Hey guys, so today we're back with more talk about the future of Dodge again. We focused on the Hellcats, E-Muscle Cars, and now it's time to focus on the Hemi V8 engines. We're in this incredible time period of transition, muscle cars are slowly evolving from gas power to electric, the current Dodge Charger and Challenger platform will transform into the next generation, and the current big V8 engines may get replaced by smaller, more fuel-efficient ones. The most interesting thing about all of this is that what happens next and how is relatively unknown. How will they execute things? What will the cars look like? How will the engines perform? Does the Hemi stay alive or die? These are all questions that I've been trying to answer or at least discuss when talking about the future. So again, today the focus is looking at those Hemi V8 engines, how long they might be around for, and if they carry over to the next gen. To try to make sense of that, we'll cover topics like future goals of the Dodge brand, some comments and controversy between Motor Trend and Motor One on those Hemis, and we'll also use Dodge future products and Dodge comments to help us better understand what's coming next and if the Hemi could live on. So let's get into it. So first we need to look at Stellantis' future plans to get an idea of which engines we might see in the future. On March 1st, 2022, they released their Dare Forward 2030 plan, talking for hours about future goals and how they want to execute their strategies. Most of it doesn't really pertain to Dodge, but there are a few key pieces here. Stellantis aims to become carbon net zero by 2038, with a 50% reduction by 2030. To help achieve that, they're aiming for battery electric vehicles to make up 100% of their sales in Europe, and 50% of their sales in the US, also by 2030. They are also planning to have 75 battery electric vehicle offerings across all their brands by 2030, and there's a US specific product portfolio planned, offering over 25 all new BEVs. Some would include Jeep's first ever fully electric SUV launching in 2023, the new Ram 1500 BEV arriving in 2024, and the future Dodge e-muscle car. So what does that all tell us? So assuming that 50% applies to all brands, that means that 8 years from now in 2030, Dodge will only be 50% battery electric and the other half internal combustion. So for the foreseeable future, most of what Dodge sells will burn gas, so that's why we're seeing new internal combustion engines like the 3 liter Hurricane, and that's why the Hemi V8 should live on for a couple years as well. Now I want to look at what inspired this video, and that was through an article written by Johnny Lieberman from Motor Trend. He wrote that, quote, Our sources tell us that a brand new generation of V8-powered, rear-wheel drive muscle machines are coming, and coming soon. Here you thought Dodge was going fully EV, and turning its back on the burning of gasoline. Not yet, bro. End quote. So we know a new large Stellantis rear-wheel drive slash all-wheel drive platform is coming, and Motor Trend claims that this platform will be separate and unrelated to the EV chassis, also known as the EV skateboard chassis, due to its flat and long appearance. The new non-EV platform could underpin the new Charger, Challenger, Maserati Quattroporte, and possibly other vehicles like the Chrysler 300 if it returns, and more unlikely, a larger Alfa Romeo. In strange fashion, one day after the Motor Trend article, automotive website Motor One chimed in, saying that they confirmed the next generation platform would not only lose the Hemi V8, but all internal combustion engines. Their spokesperson even went as far to say that, quote, the story, Motor Trend story, is incorrect. The Hemi and that platform, as well as that platform, are going away. The next generation will be BEV, end quote. So going back to Motor Trend, they then updated their article a few days after on August 2nd to respond to Motor One's comments. They argue that they interpret that statement from the spokesperson differently. Responding to the first part of the statement, they agree that the Hemi won't continue on the LA slash LX slash LD platform, which is obviously getting discontinued after 2023. They argue that the statement doesn't address anything else about the next gen platform and gas engines, and they are confident that some type of V8 will still be offered. For the second part of the comment, it was only said, quote, the next generation will be BEV, end quote, and they didn't say that it would be BEV only. So there might be some versions of the new Dodges that are powered by internal combustion, either offered simultaneously with the EVs, or as a gateway before they go full electric. We already see this with the Alfa Romeo Tonale, a small SUV that will be at first powered by gas electric hybrid and plug-in hybrid options, before later offering a full EV option. So now let's check out the future Dodge products and try to see where the Hemi might fit in. These are all part of the two-year Never Lift program from Dodge, where they have a calendar of garage doors, and one gets open with every new announcement. Timelines obviously change pretty drastically, but right now we know that we'll be seeing three to four vehicles during Dodge Speed Week later this month. 
a current muscle car, a gateway muscle car, and a future muscle car. Trying to put the puzzle pieces together here, the current muscle car should be that 2023 Hellcat model, which may or may not feature E85 fuel capability, some 426 Hemi parts like the bigger 3 liter supercharger, and possibly upwards of 900 horsepower. So that should have the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 still, and the other Charger and Challenger models will continue with the 3.6 liter, 5.7 liter, and 6.4 liter motors through the end of 2023. The Gateway muscle car I'm not so sure, but that could very likely be the new Stellantis platform, and those are the vehicles that Motor Trend believes could still be powered by V8s. It sure makes sense as that's a stepping stone towards BEVs, or as Dodge says, a gateway, so to me that still means internal combustion, or possibly a hybrid. The future muscle car is going to be a concept for the Dodge e-muscle car, which should be the first all-electric vehicle from Dodge, so of course those will not have any V8s. They've talked about that several times in the past year, and this should be the concept form, and the production version is scheduled for a 2024 release. There will also be a fourth new vehicle, and that should be the plug-in hybrid Dodge Hornet. So before we end the video, I just want to look at some Dodge comments that might give even more insight. They're all from Tim Kaniskis, the CEO of Dodge. All these comments are pretty relevant within the past year or sooner. They basically verify what we went over today. He talked about the current generation of muscle cars, saying, quote, these cars that you know today will go out of production by the time we get to 2024, end quote. He has said, quote, I'm juggling knives because I've got to keep two different huge factions happy because at some point those two factions will converge. The problem is no one knows when they will converge. My job is to provide confidence over the next 24 months that we're going to do this, end quote. He's also said that Dodge will reveal three vehicles of significance to buyers, something on the spectrum for everyone, and now we know that's probably those three vehicles that we discussed, the current, gateway, and future muscle cars. He's also spoken to confirm that pure electric Dodge muscle car reveal, which will be the e-muscle car, a new plug-in hybrid with a Dodge badge, which will be the Dodge Hornet, and a significant third new model for Dodge. As he said, quote, the third one is going to be a very, very, very significant car at the end of the year, end quote. So of course, that's likely that final 2023 Hellcat, as that model coming to an end is obviously extremely significant for this brand after everything that those Hellcats have achieved. So judging by all this and trying to make sense of everything so far, it does seem like the Hemi could live on for some time, but in the newer platform as an option offered, alongside the other electric powertrains. In a news release about Stellantis's Windsor plant, which will be retooled soon to build the Stella large vehicles, they described the platform as a multi-energy vehicle, MEV type, one that will be battery electric vehicle capable. So that multi to me means that this new platform won't be battery electric vehicle only, and it's totally possible that Dodge sells the Charger and Challenger replacements with some ICE options. One point worth mentioning is that Mopar's new 3 liter twin turbo Hurricane inline 6 engines, both the standard and the high output, already beat out the 5.7 liter and 6.4 liter Hemis, just in terms of horsepower and gas mileage, so those engines could be featured in the Gateway muscle cars with the Hemi V8s as options. We could also see the current Challenger and Charger live on as a classic for a year or two, similar to how Ram keeps selling their 1500 classic model alongside the newer 5th gen truck. So that's the end of this video, what do you guys think about everything we talked about? Do you think the Hemi V8 lives on for a few more years, or will it be done by 2024? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As a muscle car enthusiast and owner of two Hemis, I would love for the Hemi to continue for the foreseeable future, but I do find it tough for Dodge to try to sell that engine when the Hurricanes are making more power and have better fuel economy. Hopefully we'll find out more during the Dodge Speed Week. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar news and updates, and I'll see you all in the next video.